Over 400 years ago, the namesake of our university, Captain Christopher Newport, sailed upon waters very near to this campus, completing a fantastic journey, a voyage of discovery. It opened the door to a new and exciting world. For each of you participating in the President's Leadership Program here at Christopher Newport, you are also embarking on a fantastic and amazing voyage of learning, of discovery, and of growth. This journey is shaping and defining your future course. And it is opening for each of you a new and exciting world that we can only dream about. Each of us, in our own way, have an image of what this voyage, this life journey, our journey, will look like. What we hope it will become. How we will use our talents and our abilities to chart our course and to shape and define the world in which we live. How we will bring significance to our lives and the communities in which we live. What will that image be? In just a moment, I'm going to ask you each to pull out your cell phones or mobile device and to capture an image of yourself. That's right. We're going to take a selfie. Now tonight, this is not going to be a group selfie, nor is it going to be a glamour shot. Rather, I want you to capture an image of just you in this moment in time. And I want you to hold this image on your screen. Go ahead. I'll give you a minute or two. Everybody got it? Good. Now hold that image on your screen for just a bit. What you hold in your hand is what I would call an image of significance. It's an image that captures a moment in time, but a significant moment. A moment as you are just beginning your journey. A moment when you are exploring and forming the values and the leadership concepts that will guide the rest of your life. A moment when you are starting to challenge assumptions a moment when you are beginning to understand the larger world around you and defining where is your space? What is your role in this world? It's a moment that promises hope and anticipation and expectancy. Yet it's also a moment that promises challenge and adversity and risk and the need to overcome obstacles. How will your image change over time? At times of consequence in your life, at life's iconic milestone moments, such as when you walk across the stage at commencement, for some of you, that's only eight short months away. When you get engaged, when you get married, when you have children, when you accomplish great things in your career, 
when you celebrate meaningful events, when those you care most deeply about ascend to great heights, when you have grandchildren, when you retire, what will your image reflect at these milestone moments? And how will this image reflect a life of leadership, of honor, and of significance? For more than 27 years, I've had the honor and privilege to work for a company that captures such images and documents such moments by creating and preserving brilliant and iconic images that enrich our lives, that capture inspiring and momentous moments in time, and that become engraved in our memories forever. Canon is a worldwide leader in still photography, video, cinema, broadcast, document, network security, and medical imaging, whose mission is focused on living and working together for the common good and preserving the most precious of resources, the world we share, the communities we serve, the lives we touch. It is through the lens and viewfinders of our outstanding imaging technology that we can feel the powerfully raw and compelling emotions that define passion. We experience the faithfulness and the commitment that characterize loyalty. And we envision the quality of mind and of spirit that forges courage and commitment to causes far greater than ourselves. Leadership qualities that we can all embrace and strive to achieve. Through such images, the spectacular vistas of the world are open to our eyes. We see the stunning beauty of the world around us and we see colors that speak to our soul. Through images, complex communities come into better focus, and we look on with awe and inspiration and desire to be in that place and at that time. Through images, we celebrate and commemorate life's journey, often with those around us who we love and hold close. And through images, we capture life's adventure and the leadership lessons that can powerfully and profoundly influence our journey. What does your image the one you just captured moments ago, say about you in this moment in time? What leadership qualities will your image reflect at moments of consequence in your life? Powerful and significant images like the one you hold in your hand can show advances over time. This is the earliest known photographic image taken out of a window in a small French village in 1826. This image, a Paris street in 1839, is the first photograph believed to show a human. There on the street at the bottom of the left of the frame. And this image, from 1997, just 22 years ago, was the beginning of the image you hold in your hand this evening. Felipe Kahn was a software developer sitting in a Northern California maternity ward awaiting the birth of his daughter, Sophie.
Khan, who had been tinkering with technologies designed to share images instantly, wanted to build a device that could send a photo of his newborn to his family and friends in real time. Like any invention, the initial setup was crude, a digital camera connected to a flip-top cell phone, synced by a few lines of code that he had written on his laptop while waiting in the hospital. But the effect has transformed the world. Khan's device captured his daughter's first moment and transmitted them instantly, the very first cell phone photo. As future leaders, what breakthrough technologies will come from your image? Through iconic images, we see the delicate and fragile balance of nature. We see nature at its most striking and powerful. Yet we also see nature in the most amazing and awe-inspiring forms. They often take our breath away. We also view the great diversity of the natural world, and we wonder, what is often the distance for our lives, our species, our planet, as we discover our own personal leadership style, we're often challenged to balance fragile and powerful, amazing and diverse, and to ponder for ourselves, what does it all mean? Where are we going? As leaders, what does the image you hold in your hand this evening tell you about where you're going, what the future holds. Images can also disturb us, can make us angry, and can even make us cry. Images such as this make us uncomfortable. They reflect serious issues that have challenged strong leaders over time colonialism, racism, slavery, the destruction and near eradication of a species. This image from Africa, in the early 20th century, was taken after an elephant slaughter. The ivory tusks you see were destined for Europe and North America, most likely to be used as jewelry, or the keys on a piano. And while leaders have certainly made progress over time, we also realize that more modern images reflect that important work on controversial issues remains for you, the leaders of today and tomorrow. Yet images of our natural world also inspire hope and spur action. Early images such as this of the American West led to the preservation of vast national parks and monuments to protect the natural beauty of these vistas for all time. This iconic image, taken the first time man traveled to the far side of the moon showed the world for the first time from a great distance. How small, how blue, how fragile our planet really is. Images are also used to document deterioration and destruction that occurs in our natural world. The decline of the polar ice cap over time. The top image from 1980 and a similar image taken in 2012. Devastating fires in the rainforest of the Amazon, taken just two weeks ago. And from last week, the eye of Hurricane Dorian and its devastating aftermath 
on Abaco Island in the Bahamas. How will leaders such as yourself seek to understand, to react, and to address the challenging issues facing our world? Iconic images can also bring about strong activism and prompt social change. This photograph was taken in 1908 at a textile mill in North Carolina. A 12-year-old girl working with heavy industrialized equipment. The publication of this shocking image in newspapers across the country prompted the passage of the nation's earliest child labor legislation. Similarly, shocking images brought the brutality of the civil rights movement and the uncivil treatment of minority populations home to millions of Americans in the 1950s and the 1960s. And this chilling image from 2007, the racially charged protest in Charlottesville, a Pulitzer Prize winning photo captured by CNU alumnus and former captain's log photographer, Ryan Kelly. It still prompts leaders of today to ask hard questions. Why? Where? And how? Images also show that social change can come painfully slow. A migrant mother in California during the Dust Bowl era of the Great Depression. A migrant father and his son. An image captured earlier this year along the Texas-Mexico border. But images can also heal us. This image was taken in 1895, the very first medical diagnostic image. Today, medical images allow us to see deep inside the human body with amazing clarity. These are coronary arteries in an image that helps physicians detect restrictions to blood and oxygen flow to the human heart. And in the future, Images will enable us to heal as never before. This remarkable image is from inside a coronary artery. A recently developed Canon medical camera, less than the width of a human hair, that better identifies blockages and accurately measures exactly where life-saving stents should be placed for maximum effectiveness. Images can truly heal a damaged heart. But iconic images can also break our heart, especially during times of intense and destructive conflict, the aftermath of a deadly battle during the American Civil War. Images can display anticipation and anxiety and fear the D-Day landings in France during World War II. And iconic images can transport us to difficult places in time where heroism and destruction are confusingly intertwined. An image from the Vietnam conflict. Iconic images also show how we celebrate victory the end of World War II in Times Square, and how we deal with triumph after a long and hellish struggle, the planning of the American flag on Iwo Jima. And iconic images can also turn into great art that helps us memorialize and recognize forever significant milestones in time.
but it also can show the supreme sacrifice of struggle and conflict, bringing a lump to our throat and a tear to our eye. Iconic images also document mankind's greatest steps and highest achievements. The first step on the moon during the Apollo 11 mission 50 years ago this year. Images can also show the ravages of time, pain, struggle, stress, mental anguish. Abraham Lincoln, in the 1850s before assuming the presidency, and then after the Civil War, just weeks before his assassination. Barack Obama, while he was running for the presidency, and as he was just about to leave office. Iconic images also enable us to see things from an entirely different perspective. A B-1 stealth bomber flying over the Rose Bowl. President Trump taking the first steps by a US president into North Korea last June. But how interesting that your personal reaction to this photo is likely influenced greatly by your personal perception of the principles involved. Images also tell amazing stories of celebration and victorious achievement. The US national women's soccer team winning the World Cup and images also tell the story of disappointment. A little league team during a rainout. Images can also teach us the importance of being in the right place at the right time. This image, one of the most iconic sports photos of the 20th century, was taken by a 22-year-old photographer on his very first assignment for Sports Illustrated. After arriving for the match, his mentor dismissed him, told him to stay out of the way, to go to the other side of the ring, away from the judge's scoring table where all the experienced photojournalists were working. From this location, he captured the iconic moment of the bout. And you can also see his mentor, perfectly framed, between the legs of Muhammad Ali. <laughs> For great leaders, being in the right place at the right time makes all the difference. You see, an iconic image can reflect the times in which we live. It can transport us to exotic locations. It can help us view the perspective of the world from others. And it can forever preserve the memories of our moments in time. Images can also pierce deep into our soul and display the leadership attributes and talents that are inherent in each of us. Images are windows into the mind and the heart of significant leaders who changed the world. The innovation and foresight of Alexander Graham Bell. He invented the forerunner of your cell phone. The courageous and confident determination of Helen Keller. The resolute determination of Winston Churchill the honest integrity of Mahatma Gandhi, the genius intellect of Albert Einstein, the inspiring hopefulness of Anne Frank, the passionate and empowering commitment of Martin Luther King Jr. 
the caring compassion of Mother Teresa. The creative vision of Steve Jobs and the gentle kindness and empathy of Princess Diana. Your image, the one that you hold in your hand tonight is a window into the mind and the heart and the soul of a leader. Which of these leadership qualities does your image reflect? Innovative foresight, courageous and confident determination. We all have diverse leadership and unique skill sets. What are yours? And how over time will you grow and develop them? The portraits that you have just seen were influencers. Leaders who over the course of time and in their own way changed the world. But each of you, in fact, your entire generation are very fortunate. For today, we live in an age of influencers, a world where you don't have to have a fortune, be born to the right parents, or be a famous celebrity to be an influencer. In fact, here are images of modern influencers. In the age of social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, just to name a few, anyone can be an influencer. Canon no longer spends marketing dollars on TV advertising to promote our technology. We instead rely on social media influencers to inform, to educate, to sell our products and services. In today's age, each of you have the power in your hand right now to be an influencer. But with that opportunity and power comes intense leadership responsibilities. A level of responsibility that honestly has never been placed on an entire generation such as yours before. Influencers can certainly work for good, but they can also promote evil and destructive ways. What are you doing on this campus, in your communities, to be a positive influencer? Your answer to this question will go a long way in determining your lasting impact and your effectiveness as a true leader. Also keep in mind that nothing is more powerful than leading people, human capital. For any organization, its people remain, despite advances in technology and machine learning, their most valuable asset by far. In the years to come, you will hear a lot about artificial intelligence. Anyone who has an Alexa knows what I'm talking about. AI, robotic process automation, blockchain, all of these are evolving terms in this space. But you need humans to harness the power of these tools, to communicate, to teach, to research, to program, to troubleshoot, to lead. Machines don't replace people. They just change the way that people plan and think and act and do. It is your generation that will show us how to lead in such a changing and evolving environment. A mantra I often share with my teams at Canon is this. You don't have to be in a position of management to be in a position of influence. A great leader 
encourages us to dream big dreams. Mark Twain was an influencer of his day. This is one of my favorite leadership quotes. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the things that you did. So throw off the bow line, sail away from that safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sail, explore, dream, discover. Pretty strong inspirational advice for all leadership captains. We've seen a lot of iconic images this evening and they've likely produced a wide range of emotions for you. But often it's those images that bring the world home, that capture intensely significant personal moments in time. Those are the ones that are truly the most iconic, the most lasting, and the most significant. The gentleman on your left in this image is President Tribble. And this photo was taken on the track at what is now the CNU football stadium, 7 a.m., on the morning of his first day as president of Christopher Newport University. His stated goal was to hit the ground running to transform CNU. It was the start of something meaningful. What will your image be at meaningful personal milestones in your life? When you walk across the stage at commencement, here are your PLP fellows Sam, Jack, Alexis, on their special day last May. When you marry the love of your life, Lacey Gray Hunter and her husband Henry on their wedding day. When you start a family, Will Reedy and his wife Alyssa and Katie Welbrock and her husband, Matt, as they begin their family together. And my wife, Muriel, and I on our wedding day. This was our first dance. You know, the Lions Bridge has been there for quite some time. <laughs> what will your personal image be as your children achieve great things? Kevin Hughes with his son, Sean, at Sean's graduation last spring? What will your image be as you celebrate milestone anniversaries? Louise Divas and husband Dan celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary in Hawaii. And what images will you pass along to your grandchildren? Paul and Rosemary with their three grandchildren. What leadership values, what leadership values will your image reflect at consequential moments of significance in your personal life? Here at CNU, your iconic leadership journey is just beginning. Your leadership image is starting to emerge. You're already forming the leadership concepts that will drive the rest of your life. Recall the image of excitement and anticipation when your invitation to participate in this CNU experience arrived. The image of welcome and support you received on your freshman move-in day from an entire community. The image of dignity and pride you projected in joining a community of honor and pledging your allegiance and commitment to uphold important values. Recall your image of wonder and amazement perhaps along with a bit of nervous uncertainty 
as you took your first steps with this new community of leaders, all with hopes and dreams like yourself? What image did you project by going out into the community, by caring for others around you, by seeking first to understand and not judge? Anticipate your signing day, charting your future, and committing to a course of study and exploration. Your image as you study abroad and better understand the world around you and how everything in its own way is interconnected. Your image as you listen and learn from great leaders and inspirational speakers. Your image as you come together as a leadership community. Your image as you toast your success and celebrate your accomplishments. Your image as you dream. Big dreams. And make strong wishes for the future. And on a very significant and special day, your image as you share your accomplishments with those who sacrifice the most to help you achieve it. Your faculty and advisors, your family and friends, your fellow classmates, your role models. All along the way, you celebrate great victories and triumphs, the CNU women's soccer team. And how ironic that the iconic images from our campus community reflect so closely the larger world in which we live. With passion, loyalty, and courage, we wave the silver and the blue. These words are familiar and deeply treasured to so many of us, especially CNU students and alumni, for they are the heart and soul of our Christopher Newport alma mater. We share this special phrase at honors convocations, at commencements, at athletic competitions, and alumni reunions. And each evening, as the rays of the sun begin to set on the horizon of our campus, the chimes of the bell tower echo our alma mater across the great lawn, encouraging us to again pause and reflect on these inspirational sentiments. We use the words alma mater to refer to the university from which we graduate, or the college song that we sing. Translated in English, this Latin term means nourishing mother, or a place from which we receive nourishment. My fellow captains, during your time on this campus, you are truly being nourished by a generous and caring faculty and staff, by a rigorous learning curriculum, by a call to leadership, to honor, and to service, and by the support that you receive daily from your classmates and the entire CNU community who surround you and embrace you in so many memorable and iconic moments of our lives. We are all captains for life. Before you are special, and deeply significant images of passion, of loyalty, and of courage that collectively illustrate the commitment by so many CNU leaders to ensure that both current captains and those captains in the future generations to come will continue to experience all that CNU has to offer and that they too may live a life of significance. For you see, 
here at Christopher Newport, these are more than simply words. Passion, loyalty, courage. They are, in fact, cherished leadership values. Values that we can all uphold and hold dear. Values that characterize who we are as captains and values that set our university and our lives apart. As aspiring leaders, there can be no greater value than the ability to lead with passion with loyalty, and with courage. Indeed, passion, loyalty, and courage are the hallmarks of our experience here at CNU. Legacy of our past, a vision for the future, and a constant reminder of what makes this a very special place. As we reflect on these values, so many special and iconic images come to mind from all across this campus. Images of students, of faculty, of staff, each and every day dedicated to learning and growing and achieving great things. We see passion ignite across this campus. Whether it's the thrill of research, the solitude of study, or the wonder of intellectual discovery. The intensity of athletic competition. The elation of athletic victory. The majestic beauty of artistic expression. the spirit of precision and of teamwork. And of being all in for each other. And the forging of relationships that truly will last a lifetime. We see loyalty in the dedication to time spent outside the classroom, volunteering in the community working to build bridges, accomplishing a cherished goal, and living a life of honor, of principle, and commitment to just causes. And we see courage to step far out beyond our comfort zone, to take on amazing challenge, after amazing challenge, after amazing challenge, and to lend a hand where it's needed most. To persevere against all odds, to achieve great and noble things. Living a life as a leader, living a life of significance, embodies passion, loyalty, and courage. And our alma mater, and our entire CNU experience, in fact, is a constant reminder of the importance of these leadership principles on our journey. And in fact, being a leader, a captain, will always be a part of you. After you take that memorable walk across the stage at commencement, I encourage you to stay in contact with your alma mater. And as a leader in our alumni community, regardless of where you land, in Nashville, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, Orlando, or right here in Virginia, you will always have a home at Christopher Newport. 
We look forward to welcoming you home. After all, you never know who you might meet or where you might meet a fellow captain. And what surprises await you <laughs> at the CNU Alumni House. For it is here at Christopher Newport where the image of a leader, of a captain, will always be one that strives for excellence and honor in all that we do. It is here where captains develop devotions to beliefs and causes greater than themselves. And it is here where captains realize that not only can they make a difference in the world, but that as leaders, we're all obligated to do so. It's here where future generations of captains are inspired to have great dreams for themselves and the world. It is here where captains learn to be leaders and where captains demonstrate that a purpose-driven life is a life of honor and compassion. It's here where captains are encouraged to care, to engage, to reach out. It's here where captains are bold and take risk. As St. Thomas Aquinas said back in the 13th century, if the highest aim of a captain was to preserve his ship, he would keep it in port forever. It is here where captains develop a passion and a deep and abiding understanding that when we change the world, we change hearts and minds. And it is here where captains collectively and with one voice will answer the call and sustain the vision and where the future image of our great university will be cultivated and nourished and realized. It is here, in this very special place, with your images, where the CNU legacy becomes more than just each of us, and where the collective dreams of future generations of leaders, of captains, are embraced and realized. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've been at this uh, business. I've been at this business for 24 years. This program is nearly 24 years old. We've had usually six to eight leadership speakers every year, including Paul Tribble, who has spoken many times. Tonight, you've heard the finest, most compelling, most striking presentation in 24 years. If you were just a bit older, you would have done what 72-year-old Paul Tribble and Bobby Hatton did, and that was spontaneously get up on our feet and thank this man for this extraordinary presentation tonight. Will you join me in a rousing round of thanks and applause? There's a quick conclusion, I'm told. So sit down. 
and we'll hold the speaker to that. All right. So I have a special message for our leadership scholars. You know, sometimes life is like a camera, produces the iconic images that we've seen this evening. And so my advice to you is to focus on what's important, to capture the good times, to develop from the negatives. And if things don't work out, take another shot. What story will your image tell? Pull up that image on your mobile device you took just a minute ago. I challenge you to ask yourself, what will that image become? What will I do to cultivate, to nourish, to invest in that image? At milestones of your life, what image will that reflect? What images of significance will you cherish? And what are you going to do this academic year to ensure that as a leader, as a captain, your image will be one of significance. <laughs> These, my fellow captains, are the most significant images that you're going to see this evening. This is you. Images taken as we began this evening. Images that are full of promise. Images that are full of hope. Full of anticipation. These are images of tomorrow's leaders. No, no, no. Make that today's leaders. Absolutely. And like all good captains, these are images that are full of passion and full of loyalty and full of courage. <laughs> we are told that of those to whom much has been given, much is expected. We expect you to always explore and expand your horizons with passion, to give loyal devotion to important causes, and to commit with courage and conviction to make this community, this nation, and this world a better place for generations to come. And we expect and sincerely wish for each of you that in so doing, you will live a life of promise, a life of significance. With passion, loyalty, and courage, we wave the silver and the blue, our alma mater shining brightly. Hail, all hail to seeing you. Thank you all, and good evening. <laughs>